if a guy was like, want to get breakfast, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. Sick. And I feel like they don't get a lot of those offers. But, like guys aren't doing that a ton. You know what else I would think? I would go, oh, he's probably sober. Whenever a guy asks like for a hike, a coffee date or mm. breakfast, I'm like, oh, they're probably sober. That's cool. I'm, I'm not. Like, that's not why I'm doing it. But I don't drink a lot anyways. Yeah. So sometimes when a girl's like, oh, I don't drink. I'm like, oh, great. I'm just doing it because that's a thing to do. Yeah, yeah. But I think a lot of times people are nervous on the first date. Number one in the light and number two sober. I love breakfast. I need a meal anyways. And it, if, if I hit it off with If a you girl, say that one more time. <laughs> what? I'm going to, I, I need, need a meal anyways. <laughs> bap, bap, bap. Let me just start with a controversial take. Please. Fahim Anwar is my favorite comedian. That's a hot take. It's a real hot take. <laughs> Look, I love it. Richard Pryor, like, Whoa. whatever, dude. You guys know how I feel about Steve Martin. Uh, Woody Allen, yuck. Fahim Anwar, I cannot even tell you, Fahim. I'm up there. Nothing makes me laugh anymore. My soul is so dead at this point. And you are so dumb. That's sweet. That's like the highest compliment for me when a comedian, you know, because we're jaded. We see so much. Yeah. I feel the same way too. Like when I see too much comedy, it's hard to laugh, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so like, yeah, when you hear that from like a fellow comedian, it's like awesome. You kill me because you do something that I try to do and hopefully I succeed, but I feel like it's so hard to like go for it and not feel like you're being corny. But when you go for it, that's the funniest yeah, what like an act out or what? Do you yeah, mean, totally. For it? Like sometimes it's like comedians are like too cool for school, and we're kind of just like looking at our notebook, leaning against yeah. the brick wall, don't want to try too hard. And I find myself sometimes being like, I think going for it is really funny in this act out. Like, but I'm so worried. Like I truly feel like sometimes I am writing just for Chris Rock. I'm mm. like, if Chris Rock sees this, is he gonna think I'm corny? And I'm like, what am I doing? I think sometimes we forget the the blank canvas and sandbox that stand up is because mm -hmm. it can get very self-referential and just I'm the coolest guy in the room and truth to power be because <laughs> I don't know that is sexy mm -hmm. but then I'm just very much of the school of thought of serve the idea sometimes I do have a bit that's like that but then sometimes I have something that's really dumb yeah yeah and I'm a clown I like I will I'm a clown I, yep. I'm not pretending I'm this you know Carlin like I might have one bit that maybe goes that way yeah, yeah. but I, I would like the ability to be a clown and just kind of paint with all the colors. Do you like think about like if, if there's something you think is funny that's like political or like charge or you like, let me just stay away from that. Like, is it conscious? No, like all the thing is, that's what's tough. I, I honestly, I just, I live my life. I, people are like, oh, you write a lot and stuff. But like, I've gotten to the point where I just kind of live my life and I, I know when I have an idea and I jot it down. I'm just good at receiving the idea and jotting it down. Mm -hmm. I don't like sit down and egg timer it. And just whatever the funny idea is, okay, I'm like, how do I, how do I service this? What is the language? And sometimes it's a political thing. Mm -hmm. like, I'll have jokes that make me seem super right. I'll have jokes that make me seem super left. Yeah. And I don't care because the joke is good. Yeah, right, right, right. So like, uh, I, and I think we live in a day and age where people, they, they want you to be like a comedian and pundit, you know? Where I'm not married to these to these political opinions. I just, it's a funny joke. I think that like online they want, and like, you know, the algorithm will reward you if you're super topical and you'll get a lot of comments and stuff if you're political or topical. But I don't think when people come to venues to see us, they on their Friday night want to hear about Trump or Biden or whatever. Unless it's tricky. that's a fan base you're cultivating. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I have realized this. I, I'm, I'm just a stand-up purist. I love jokes. I love comedy. I'm a clown first. But, um, Politics. Clown. Yeah, Should yeah. we just call ourselves clowns? Kind of. I think Verbal gotten, clowns? We've, sometimes we've gotten away from what we really are. Well, it's like comedians, it's tricky because like comedians were the first amendment warriors. I'm like, really? Uh, I kind of signed up to be a clown mm -hmm. here. Uh, I'd rather not go to war if that's cool. Yeah, but politics is way bigger than comedy. So I okay. think that's why there is a gravitation towards that because you can garner way more people coming out ha being like hard right or hard left then you can just kind of silly you know sorry i'm having a little bit Not of it do you want to come up here what are we doing let's go then our next our next guest is a dog <laughs> frank <laughs> so come what's on what's going on out there frank come on <laughs> frank let's go what are frank, you doing in the streets frank let's go then you're going to keep wanting to come up just go you got it okay then you want to lay on the floor what do you want to do come on Make a decision. Thank you so much. There we go. People. I'm going to be interviewed by a dog. There we go. We, we, ta we tag in and out. <laughs> Here this we is go. the dog portion. Bye. 
<laughs> I loved your special. I love your special. I like how you moved around a lot. I move around at the dog park. <laughs> yeah. Although it could have used more butt sniffing. What do you think? Do you love Fahim? I know. Um, okay, I had, this is embarrassing. I wrote out so many questions for you, but now oh I can't God, find I them. I you but are. I, this this, this, this almost feels like I'm on CNN or something. The okay. way you're dressed, the glasses, this is like hard-hitting journalism. Especially the way you loaded up the, I have a hot take. I, I thought you were going to take your glasses off and be like. I try harder than anyone in podcasting. It's probably not obvious in the it's slightest. Refreshing. I like I it. I try really hard, but if I could just locate this file. Please, please. <laughs> I don't know what I do, though. Don't know what I I named it. You the special before I put it out. You know, I had an early cut of it. And then I know your guy likes my stand up and I'm too close to my specials. So like you forget if it's funny or not anymore. It doesn't move me the way it does when I like first came up with these jokes. So you're like, I hope they like it. And then you're like sending me pictures of him laughing at it and stuff. Dying. Yeah. Dying. Okay. So I'm like, oh, okay. All right. Good. Crying. Okay. So. Me and my guy and his friend who was in from out of town went to the comedy store and it was the night of just hitters. It was just all the hitters. And you were their favorite by Whoa. far. Not that everyone wasn't like great or whatever. Yeah, the lineups are great. And there's a always, different flavor every 15 minutes at the store. That's what I love about the You place. just do shit is that you give people this gift of being able to have like a mannerism or something that they can keep doing and calling back to. So in... Um, your hat trick special when you do the Wolverine arms of like the like, (laughs) like we do it three times a day. We do it constantly. It's like about these like wing wall. Oh my God, you doing it? It's like, I feel like it's like, it's such a celebrity. like watching Michael Jackson moonwalk, me doing (laughs) Oh my God, he's doing it in the flesh. No, but it's also because also what he does when he does the impression like this, like, there's a leg pop. The There's key, a leg pop the to key it. Is the leg pop to it. <laughs> and it's like he does it like constantly, like anywhere we go, even if there's not a but if there's a wing wall, like for sure. But it's like given a it's like just the gift that keeps on gi- giving. And then whenever he like rolls down uh the window of his car, he does the like joke about the Tesla, the guy, oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the the Uber Eats one or yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then also the um yeah, uh, you have the show. I can't remember if this is in House Money or in Hat Trick about how you don't let women ghost you. Oh, that's the new one. That's the new one. Oh my god, dude! And like, if I like don't respond, he's like not like <laughs> just checking in. How's this year? How's this year going you know, for you? That's so funny. Like, is it the uh, you don't ghost me, I ghost you? Or go, no, how you won't crazy? let someone ghost you? Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, is yeah, yeah, it yeah. like a year later? Hey, is this year still crazy for you? What is it? I go like, you know, when you're this is like a life hack. You know, I'm like, if if, if a girl's ghosting, this is what I do. I, <laughs> I wait a while, you know, I just let it marinate like a few months, just really make sure I'm getting ghosted. And then I'll send this text. I'll go, hey, I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert. I have an extra ticket if you're available. I don't know. Let me know. And I go, then they become alive. Suddenly they come out of the woodwork and they're like, oh, oh, oh hey, um, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was slammed with work and everything. But I looked at my schedule, my calendar. I, I'm free that day. I would love to go. And then I go. And then I don't respond. <laughs> and I, go, <laughs> I act like a goblin, you know. And then, and then I go, "You don't ghost me. I ghost you. <laughs> Are you the ghosting?" Like I just like lose my mind on stage. And what's so funny? Like that's my favorite part of the bit is the "You don't ghost me." <laughs> like when I flip the switch and just go berserk. <laughs> but when I would do it at the stores, like that part wouldn't work sometimes. It was fifty fifty. Yeah. And then I'm so glad that it worked on the special. How could it be part. 50-50? Maybe because maybe I'm yelling. I'm so unhinged. Maybe they're not <laughs> hearing the words of, you don't ghost me. I, I ghost. ghost. They just probably heard distortion where I'm like, you don't ghost me. Yeah, I yeah. ghost you. And I'm just like foaming. <laughs> Full Brian Holtzman. Mm-hmm. Um, obs- I'm just obsessed with these little observations you have. Uh, and, oh, another thing we do is like dancing guy. Dancing guy? Oh, yeah. For, yeah that's yeah. from House Money. House Money, It's yeah. like sending a, a dancing guy emoji too soon. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of bits about because I'm dating and stuff. So you just observe, you just observe whatever your world is, you know? I got to know what's going on out there. Oh, in the streets. I feel like you have the ability to critique women's behavior without being too yeah, dark. Like, yes, yes. So like, I'll I want to know. out, but not too egregiously. What are girls, I think women want to know, like, what are girls doing that is very annoying at the moment? Are they making you take photos of them on a first date for well, their just, Instagram? Yeah. Okay, let me, let some off the top of my head, what do I see? I don't love when a profile is like, here's what I don't like. D- just telling me all the things you don't like. A dating profile, like. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just tell me what you're into. Not like, 
I don't like this. I don't like this. And Being what are funny, most, you know, it's almost like demand, like you're tap dancing. You don't even know this person yet. Yeah. Another one I don't like is when they but go. But like, what like, are the normal things? Like, I don't like, I'm not here for hookups. I understand that, but I'm just saying like, uh, say what you're into, not all the things you don't like. Okay. That's kind of a red flag. Interesting. If your whole profile, profile is all things you don't like. Yeah. But a lot of the things that people do like are obvious. Like you'd be a sociopath if you didn't like loves dogs and sunsets. Like, yeah, I, that's implied. Yeah. You know what I mean? I also do. What are we, five? Yeah, everyone. I love the like color those. blue like and when, sparkly uh, purple. Uh, like they'll like they'll have all this love for certain groups and charities and all that. They're, but they're like, if if you like cats, kill yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's like so much venom towards cat lovers. <laughs> you know, that's odd. The women, they're all great. Yeah, some some people are just that's like, really I hate funny. Cats. And you go okay. There is a. It is wild that there's a yeah. If you yeah. love cats, you're haunted. Jump off a bridge. Yeah, Dogs you're also single. Like what? Like there's. Maybe you want a pet and you just don't have. You, they're like it takes less time. To take yeah, care you don't want a high maintenance pet. Yeah. I'm trying to think what's another like what I first think. of all what is a tagline that has worked that you're like I like that she's not trying too hard I can tell if they're funny if they're wood like you know what I mean yeah like, oh the banter will be good if uh, you could read a profile <laughs> a, pe a pet peeve that I that I don't like is I, I think I tried it one time on stage where it says let's do something other than dinner or drinks like out the gate that's on the profile and in my mind I'm like bitch I don't know you yeah yeah you know yeah yeah yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Not, this isn't a bachelor <laughs> I'm not gonna go f horseback riding on our first date. <laughs> Breakfast? I, like people don't even do that like on their anniversary. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, and I go, so much of life is eating meals and drinking and just sitting with someone like this. That's a great barometer for whether you're going to vibe or not. Also, it's low investment. It's 30 minutes, 45 minutes tops. You find out whether you vibe. Uh -huh. I go, I don't want to be on the side of a mountain <laughs> and realize we hate each other. I'm like, can you hand me the chalk bag? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh. So you don't want kids? Oh, that. Oh, no, yeah. I, I kind of want kids. <laughs> and you're just on the side of a mountain where this could have been established at Coffee Bean. Yeah. You know what I need right now? Like some caffeine, and I'm peckish. <laughs> yeah. That's so wild to me. And I'm thinking about like the vitriol that people lead with. Like when I was on dating apps, what what are you guys doing? Let's do this. Let's what? let's ask. Like, help me understand. I feel like you can demystify some male behavior when a guy's like, "How could you be single?" Oh, they do that? I, I don't yes. I don't do that. I don't write that. What is what are you doing? How could you? Because I've learned to not this overly lovey dovey like that, mm -hmm. or that just gives you so much power. And mm -hmm. I think that's gross to some women. What's it's your opening a, line? I try to keep it very if if they have a picture or a uh what is it? Like a prompt, I'll try to comment something witty. I'm a comedian, so like something off of what they have there. Right like commentary on the picture. And then if you match, then you do a little more banter. Mm -hmm. But I've learned, especially it's getting, back in the day, you can like go back and forth quite a bit. Yeah. But the drop off is crazy now. It's almost like a half life. Every couple of years, people's, app, but just our attention is so all over the place right. that that type of conversation doesn't even really happen anymore. Like texting back and forth? Yeah, just this banter. Like obviously you need to meet up eventually, but now I cut to the chase pretty quickly. If I'll someone, get one or two and be like, Let's get dinner or drinks or something. If someone doesn't make a plan with me within four texts, I'm out. Yeah. I don't need to pen pal. even shorter than that nowadays. Can't. I'll get one banter moment and be like, let's meet up. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately that's what we're here to do. I'm not here to do an improv 101 class. I'm trying to hinge. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's my opening line. Just on a picture of like her and her family. I just write, I'm trying to fuck. F-U-H. Press to one fuck. for yes, press two for no. <laughs> trying to Trying to, yeah, with like eight <laughs> U's. Fuck. Anyways, let me know. What annoying things are women doing? I mean, I don't know. It just sounds like I'm attacking women. I don't, no, I, it's, I, I'll, I'll do what, but like, <laughs> annoying. you invited me on the pod. Can I can say. sunglasses? No. Here's bitches what you gotta stop <laughs> doing. All right? I what think camera? it's helpful because I think a lot of girls are just like, what did I do wrong? Or like, I'm hearing about a lot of wild behavior and I'm here to either like men and women. Yeah. I mean, I'm out there dating with a newborn. I mean, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Seeking father figure. It's definitely, that's that's a category. You also, know? why were guys so much more into me when I was pregnant? I need you to explain. Oh, I wonder if, uh, what is that? Is it number? I Maybe can't, it's a, kind of like a challenge. It's sort of like why <laughs> women are attracted to the wedding ring guy. 
Oh. It's just like, ooh, this is a tough level. No, yeah, this is a very tough level to get to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also think part of the appeal of like women dating a guy uh -huh. who's married is like, not you know, afraid of commitment. But not only that, but there's this <laughs> element of danger. Like, I might shatter his family. <laughs> you know, the stakes are pretty high. Like, if they find out about me, uh -huh. his life is over. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, like, it's, it's hot. Like, I am I can destroy a family with this ass. Yeah, I can destroy five people. <laughs> yeah. Like, the kids, uh -huh. the wife, the guy. Okay, so that's it. So when I was pregnant, maybe men were like, I can give her baby CTE and ruin maybe, his maybe. motor skills forever. <laughs> or it's different, you know Yeah, I mean? yeah. There's, I figured it was just that I can't get pregnant mm. and I might die in childbirth. It seems like a very extreme way to go raw, <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> like, I don't wear condoms. I only f pregnant chicks. <laughs> Life hack. <laughs> Life hack. <laughs> Just do like an Andrew Ch Tate channel. Fellas, you want to go wrong, but you don't want to get pregnant? Pregnant chicks. It's, uh, it was kind of wild. And then I looked into pregnant porn just to see what was up. And a lot of views. Really? A lot of, is it like a belly is kind of like a third boob. Big third boob. With mm. a, the belly button's like a nipple. I have really thought this through quite a bit. Like what is the true appeal? Or maybe it's because I was helpless I and sad. <laughs> constantly crying and had a bigger ass it's probably I very guess, simple I guess, I guess pregnant sex mm -hmm. like your baby's a cuck then just kind of watching it <laughs> get, right <laughs> from a very it's the youngest cuck you can be <laughs> did i just make a huge breakthrough you actually Pr pregnant did sex, you the actually baby did in the womb just has front row seats <laughs> This is, you're making your baby a cuck when you have pregnant sex. I can't. What if that's why the people who sit in like hotel armchairs, <laughs> it's because their parents were like a lot when they were pregnant. <laughs> Wait. It's like, this is my thing now. <laughs> what cuck is when, okay. They is like this to a, watch. Yeah, is this a common thing? It's a thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. But they like to watch their girlfriend or wife be. I think so. I, I don't know what the distinction is. I don't know whether it's they just like to watch any people. Mm. Or it's got to be their girlfriend or wife. But either way, it's ripe for comedy. I used to have this joke where like, I was doing the La Jolla Comedy Store one time. I think swingers and just people like this, can maybe target comedians mm -hmm. because we're like broken people a little bit. We're I, looking I'm for not, families. Like, yeah, yeah. And then we're on the road. Uh -huh. So you're almost transient. You're like Wolverine. You're we like need a place to Wolverine. stay. <laughs> yeah, kind of. So then this couple was like sticking around for a little too long after the show, La Jolla. And then I'm in the bar area and, and they're like, that was great. That was, that was hilarious. And then his wife is like, or partner is like, yeah, I love to laugh. She just kept on saying, I love to laugh. Like, yeah, yeah, it was great. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I just like wasn't picking up on it. And then they're still like sticking around too long. Like, yeah, comedy is so important. Like, I love, I love to laugh. Just like lingering for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh, they're like, they want a plus one or something or the swingers or something. It's not my vibe, you know, I don't really do that. But then I'm like, That'd be funny. I go, like, what if I said yes, you know? And then I go, only if I could bring a friend who would watch you watch me. <laughs> I just, we have to have filmers at all times. This is basically thinking, crowd work I think at this point. it'd be funny to make the, like, a, bring a cuck to watch the cuck, you know what I mean? So, like, he's trying to watch the sex, and then my friend's just eating a bag of Cheetos. And he's like, and the guy's like, I feel like, normally I'm the most powerful man in the room because I'm watching, but this, this seems like this guy. And he's like, don't worry about it. I get <laughs> I can't with this. Like I can't, like I've had this happen one time where I a couple was like, "Well, I get a lot of like you're my husband's hall pass." Mm, and I'm is like that sort of just like throwing out the fishing line. It's like, but I he's not mine. That would be such a funny retort. Would you ever say that to <laughs> yes. you? Yes. I think but he's not mine. I, mine is Ryan Reynolds. So are you married to Ryan Reynolds? Like I can't like just I'm like, "Okay, well, where are we going?" Yeah, well, like, what yeah, choice yeah, do I yeah. have? Talk about jackpot for them. What huh? are the chances that that would be a slam dunk? My husband wants to cheat on me with you. I'm like, let's go. In what world? Also, how annoying are you as a woman? That I... <laughs> that, I that I seem like a fun, easy night. Like his hall pass is just a woman being like, what are you doing this? Why am I your hall pass? This is ridiculous. Why? Like you could have picked Brooklyn Decker. You could have picked anyone. Mm. It's a compliment. You guys, 
You know I love podcasting. You know I love inviting on hilarious people so that I can interrupt them for two hours. But you know my real passion is doing stand-up comedy. And I am I have this baby out of me. I did not die in childbirth. And I am going on tour. It's called the Big Baby Tour. I'm going to do some clubs first to work out new material. I'll be in San Jose. Um, I'm South Florida. I'm going to be in uh, San Antonio, all these places. And then I'm going to be moving to theaters. I'm going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada on July 6th. I'm coming to Tulsa, Kansas City, Dallas, Austin, Houston. I'll be at the Chicago Theater in... Guess where that place is? You got it, Chicago. I'll be at the Beacon Theater in New York. I'm going to be in Atlantic City, Washington, D.C. at the Warner, Atlanta, Nashville, Denver, Salt Lake City, San Diego, Anaheim, Orlando, Jacksonville, Boston. And then I'm ending in Connecticut where I will inevitably get a tick in my butt crack and perish of Lyme disease. So come see me before that happens. WhitneyCummings.com. It's 2024. Let's talk about something importante. Okay, I'm bilingual now, FYI. If you are injured by the negligence of another jerk, bastard, canard, you deserve to be paid cash money. Life can be crazy sometimes, you guys, and one person's negligence can result in another's settle Meant. If you're in an accident, not calling a lawyer means you could be leaving cash money on the table. When you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions of dollars. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. Morgan and Morgan is America's number one, not two, not three. We don't mess around with number four, five, six law firms over here. Morgan and Morgan is America's largest injury firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers. But are they single is the question. The point is, with over $20 billion recovered for over 500,000 clients, Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get your full and fair compensation. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy, you guys. Re recovering from a sinus surgery is hard. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. If you're ever injured, you can call. I should probably call them about this sinus thing. I mean, just saying, I feel like this should be healing faster. The point is, if you're ever injured, you can call Morgan and Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. What's more American than that? For more information, you should go to forthepeople.com slash Whitney or dial pound law, pound law. 529 from your cell phone. That's for F O R the people.com slash Whitney or dial pound law pound 529 from your cell phone. This is a paid advertisement. I speak so many languages. It's crazy. You know how sometimes love just isn't fun? Like sometimes love's just like, pfft. you know, sometimes love's just like, but sometimes love's just like, ah, not having any fun. Bleh. Those days are over. Okay. Because you know what's here? You know what's arrived besides the aliens? Funlove.com. Funlove.com is a leading retailer in sensual health and wellness products, offering a wide array of premier brands of toys, lingerie, or some people pronounce it lingerie, weirdos, and accessories. Explore new possibilities, pleasure zones, and find your vibe at funlove.com. They offer the highest quality products, everything from soft and sexy to hot and spicy, so you're sure to find what you're looking for. Shop from the comfort of your couch and browse through a large selection of luxury brands and tastefully curated collections. Funlove.com is where you will find your vibe and vibrator and items to rev up your romance and keep the passion alive. Visit funlove.com with your partner and look for ways to explore secret passions and boost your intimacy. Let them help you discover, indulge, and satisfy your desires. If you live in Arizona or Colorado, you lucky dog, check out one of their 18 store locations. For a limited time, save 30% off your first order. Just use the code Whitney at funlove.com. Go to funlove.com and use code Whitney. That's moi at checkout. Sorry, I just blanked, just frankly disassociated thinking about all these toys I'm going to buy at funlove.com. Save 30% off your first order. Funlove.com today. Yeah, if you could pick, who would your hall pass be? Well, what? For like who, who is if like, I was married or something? Who's and... a car, like Sydney Sweeney? Like, wouldn't you think, I love that he picked an achievable hall. Also, I might say yes. I'm also, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like if somebody writes for a casting breakdown, like Fahim Anwar type, you'd be like, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me.
<laughs> That's you happened. Need, you, you don't need a type. I'll I'll come. It's happened to me many times. They're like a Whitney Cummings type, and I'm like, I'm available. And they're like, it's just but like likable. We need some like we can't we can't have someone as shrill as you. A type. Like, we'll have AI fix it and post. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just use me and use AI. <laughs> there is that is such a like. Is that when a relationship is over when you're lying around going like, so who would you want to cheat with? Yeah, maybe. Is that a trick? Probably. Yeah. Pitching that. Uh huh. It's kind of a funny thing. Like, so who are you really into? Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's like, just it just seems so it. toxic. I'm I mean, just like. This is a darker version of that, but I, sometimes you see those articles about a couple who kept their kids in a basement or something. I you know, just you know had a mean? kid and I think you should watch the, your judgment <laughs> because I, if I had a basement, like, my child would be in it right now. But it'd be a nice basement though, right? Yeah. You would go down every oh, now and yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd have pillows in a crate. But you would read these articles of just horrendous things that like uh, a husband and wife are doing to their kids. And in my mind, I'm like, how did both of them land on this? Were they like making the bed one day? Like, what if we made like a dungeon? No, and she's like, yeah, I was thinking about no, that it's too. Just the, no, no, we... it's like the baby rooms downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not being used. A fungin. And we'll it's slide, a fungin. We'll slide, <laughs> yeah, it's a fungin. It's not a... And we'll slide baloney under the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. So adversity is good for kids. You see these kids these days that these brats, it's just they got they got too loved. Right. Kids need a little adversity. And we won't teach them language or anything. No, 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 no. No. No, no. He's it's good. You saw Lord of the Fly. He'd be the yeah. he, we gotta Most prepare him for the apocalypse. Is verbal anyway. He's not when the when the hurricane comes, he's gonna be safe. Maybe they're actually more protective of their kid than any parent. Maybe. But doesn't it strike you as odd when both parents land on something that horrendous? Like, how did you both get there? Well, that's my thing with open relationships, too. Hmm. Someone's someone's against it. Someone this is someone's getting cheated on. I, I agree. I feel like both people are on. Uh, I mean, I have this joke where I'm like, sorry, this I, is I, what I we do to my dog. He's sleeping. No, he won't do it. Hey. No, he's shy. Oh, no, no, it's like a comedy killer. Like, he's like, Ooh, and then, yeah, then they clam up. But I go, um, like, non-monogamy is great for the guy who's <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he has to pretend, like, but what oh, are I, just, we... I just get to have sex with you, and I don't get to talk to you, and, like, oh, he goes to the museum stuff. We're not just... doing poly... We're not doing this. Like, the fa like, I love it when you guys, like, not you. Yeah, yeah. Like, re package oh i know something like cheating just cheat I know. like I, I miss the days when guys would just cheat like a gentleman now it has to be like you're backwards and not smart enough to understand a forward thinking arrangement or something like i'm an idiot because mm -hmm. i'm not cool with like getting herpes That's the other thing too is i think because it's ethical non-monogamy and all the stuff and then i think both parties are are into it until one isn't like obviously one is going to be less into it than the like, other you don't have to put ethical in front of something that's ethical. Yeah. You're not like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to find an ethical babysitter. Like, this is an ethical high school. Like, you don't need to do that. It, like, that's implied. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then when somebody isn't into it anymore, then it's just like, oh, you're not evolved. Yeah, that's it. Like, you just, like, don't get it. You don't get Like, you it. just have, like, a traditional, like, you just, like, you're just bogged down by social construction. It's like, no, I don't want HPV. Like, <laughs> it causes cancer. Like, I don't want cancer yet. I will die when I'm good and ready. Like, on my terms. I think it's respectable. Is that, do you have guy friends that are, like, into that? Is that real? I feel like it I'm would. not in my circle. And also, I think I'm of a generation where that's not really a thing. But I think the, or it's less so. I, also I think, think it's younger people are are into, like, all these, like, less labels and. I, well, it's also like you're just sharing an apartment with someone you're dating and you're like, we can't break up yet. The lease is another six months. I feel like it's more that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like we need to start seeing other people, but right. like we also kind of have to stay together. Like, let's I'm figure on out your this. health insurance. Yeah, so that's we exactly need to make it. This work. It's exactly it. Huh. So, what's going on with the dating thing? Just doing it. You doing know? the damn thing? Yeah, doing it. Putting yourself out there. I can't imagine. Yeah. But I whatever. I'm, I don't mind it. Like, people are like, oh, it's terrible. But it's always been terrible. Sure. But just leaving your house is a win. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people are so results driven that it's part of the process. And even a bad date is still a win because you're one step closer to, uh, to where there you want There you be. go. And it means you're trying. And What's it's like, a process. You're not, not, not going to hit out of the park every, every time. I'm hearing some pretty nightmare. And here's, here's what I think I'm trying to get to in terms of like what women are doing that are annoying because I... I have done this too, where I'm even confused of how I'm supposed to be behaving on a date. I'm like, am I supposed to be like this radical feminist that opens my own door and splits the bill? Mm. Or am I supposed to just be like, I, I don't know how to behave. This is why I do like hangs, like how I'm like, come over, I'll come to you. Uh -huh. You come to me because I don't know how to behave. Like if a girl tries to pay for dinner, 
do you think she's not interested? For uh, that doesn't happen that much. I that still, a girl tries to pay. Oh yeah. Well, you know, I respect the pantomime move to the purse. That the is pump fake. The faking to the purse. Yeah. That's like paying to me. It, like <laughs> I want a girl to even fake it. Like to do, just twist your body like this. <laughs> I feel like you paid for the entire meal. Some girls don't even do this. They just. The, the bill comes and they're just looking, they're just eating the spinach artichoke dip. Like, it was a foregone conclusion that I was going to pay the whole time. Like, but if you do this, I'm in love. I mean, you don't even have to dig. You just have to go like. <laughs> yeah, like your shoes wearing a fanny pack. Like, this is, there's not even a That'd purse so to be reached. If I'm like waiting her to fake turn and she's, she's still not doing it, but I'm just like waiting for, for like two minutes. <laughs> And she's still not doing that. The way to win over a man's heart at this point is to pretend you're going to pay. That's my PSA. Women, yeah. Like, guys are going to pay every time for the most part, you know. We're just too afraid of trying to ask for half. If you're, if you're like 18 or whatever, it's, if you're super young, then maybe that's more acceptable to go half seas. Mm -hmm. I think over a certain age, it's almost presumed the man is paying for all of it. Just I feel like it should go the other way. I feel like we should split it until we decide to be together. But here's the thing. There's not a lot of women out there who will offer up and say, let's split it and is adamant about that. Right. Usually the guy will be, will go to pay and she'll be like, let's split it. And he'll be like, no, no. And there's not going to be any. You're sucking my dick. Any, <laughs> yeah, you owe me. <laughs> yeah. I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm not just paying for the meal. It's implied. <laughs> You'll pay in other blood. ways, emotionally and physically. I have noticed that as I've gotten older and like more successful, just more financially secure, I like paying for a date and and I'm I'm less emotionally invested in it. When you're younger, I used to try to do this bit where like, mm -hmm. uh, like, but the difference between like a young guy going on a date and like Jeff Bezos, because <laughs> women are so impressed by, say Jeff Bezos took this girl on a date and got the seafood tower and all these things and she's wowed by all this food and steak. Yeah, whatever you want. That's a drop in the bucket. That's like a penny to him. Uh -huh. It means nothing. Uh -huh. But you're being enchanted by the seafood <laughs> tower. Whereas a guy, like a poor guy who's like 21 will take you to Cheesecake Factory and get you a chicken parm. That's half his life savings. <laughs> totally. Totally. That, that, that is more, that should be a bigger gesture than Jeff Bezos with the seafood tower. Yeah. So when you pay for dinner, you should also tell them how much money you have total. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if, if women knew the ratio. I have $100 and I just spent 50 on you. I'm overdrafting on yeah, this meal. Yeah, yeah. This is how much I love you. <laughs> totally. But Jeff Bezos, totally, you have $100 billion and you only spent this. It's nothing. Yes. And that's what I've realized about like, I need super, you to buy me a country for this to feel like to, true love. To even out. Yeah. I think, that's the thing is that rich guys, like, yeah, broke guys, it means more. Because rich guys can... But I also now see why you're broke. You pay for every bitch's dinner you go on yeah, a date with. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do drink sometimes. I won't do, but I also go to reasonable places. The tough, the tough things in LA, sometimes you go, oh, let's go to dinner. And then they send you a place on Google and it's like $4 signs on a first date. You know what I mean? Is this, is this normal? Oh, no, yeah. oh, so you say, do you want to pick the sometimes, restaurant? Sometimes I'll be like, oh, like, where do you want to go? Or is a place good by you? Or do you have a place you like in WeHo? Cause I'm doing a set and like, maybe I'll meet up after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go, oh, this place is good. And it's, and it's $4 signs. Maybe that's some advice. Have a little, be nice to us guys. <laughs> don't don't send us, you know, four dollar sign places for a first meetup. Yeah, that's aggressive. I'm really into the first date just being coffee. Well, I don't want you see me eat. I don't want you mm. see me eat soup. I don't want to. I don't want to. I have opinions on coffee though. Why? I don't love a coffee date because it's such an arbitrary beverage. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, let's go to Target and get ices. It's just an excuse to meet like up. That sounds like a lot of fun. That's true. Okay. That, but that's a bad example. I accidentally stepped into that's an awesome date That's literally the idea. perfect date idea. <laughs> let's split a pretzel and get an icy. The white At cherry Target, one, right? Honestly, going to Target with someone on a first date is genius. That'd be a power move. Oh, so fun. That would yeah. be so fun. I need to get a birthday card for my uncle. Let's go. That's actually kind of off the beaten path. Yes, I'm super into it. errands with someone. But you know what else I think? Like, Find me in Target. I'll be there at three. Oh, yeah. It, like, so like, not fun. Not even meet up. Just you'll see no. me when I see you. Yeah. Find me in Target.
if you know what if you know what aisle I'm in, we're meant to be. Just give him a time window, <laughs> like a mattress delivery. Like I'll be here between eight. I think. Remember how like Shaq used to do that? Didn't he used to do that on his Twitter? Or I think oh, it was Shaq. He? Yeah, he would just be like, "I'm gonna be at the you know Mall of America at two o'clock. For first ten people to find me gets a hundred bucks." That's pretty cool. Yeah, He's like Mr. Beast in it before Mr. Beast. Yeah, totally. But yeah, it feels like an arbitrary beverage, and I don't really need to have this coffee. Oh, wait, hold on. Did you just call coffee arbitrary? It is <sighs> the I have it in the morning. But it is the liquid that has, makes the no. Uh, I love function. coffee. It <laughs> is our. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> wait, hold on. Black <laughs> rifle. Well, I get canceled over uh, this. Yeah, yeah. Don't... I, lo I love it's, coffee. I, uh, it's coffee. arbitrary I, I, uh, beverage. I think it's, it's the most important beverage. No, to I our... agree. But I'll do it at home. I'm gonna, look. I'm gonna have coffee. Yeah, yeah, regardless. Yeah. But to go drive across town to have coffee with yeah, someone don't do I that. don't know, that's that's less of a less important. Sure, sure, sure. So I, I think I mentioned this on another pod one time. I was doing this for a while. I was trying to do breakfast. Can you dates. not mention anything that you've already mentioned? On Fuck. You, you want originals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cuck baby thing. I just, that was can original. you just get <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was a good for you exclusive. Clip it. <laughs> can you just not? I don't. I just get next. <laughs> I was doing breakfast dates. Which I liked. I love that idea, actually. The reason I was doing it is because when you do not, like drinks, dinner, there's this weird Let's see if she gets tension. the worm or not. The, uh, like, does does he want this? Does he not? There's this like weird baggage with nighttime drinks or totally. and then breakfast. I feel like the guy has more of a position of power just because yeah. he's, he's, you're not, you're not going to, you know, do that with eggs. You're not trying to like make no. out over eggs. No, no. I need a meal anyways. Yeah. Okay. You get to know the person. And you're just laying ground. I love that you're like, I need to eat two birds. Yes, yes, for real. <laughs> I don't. I don't. But you need lunch and dinner too. Sure, I'll do. But the thing is, there's so much wrapped around dinner. Yeah. Like weird feelings. More expensive. Just say it. Does it's more want? expensive. It's, I mean, there's. I'm not just even talking about it. that. But like a girl's yeah. on guard with dinner as well, a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. He's gonna try to kiss me afterwards. Totally. What does he want? I know so what. Don't you, stop pretending. It's because of the lighting. You want to sit? Do you make him go swimming after? <laughs> it's you want to see him in the daylight. Like, we sit next to a puddle, so <laughs> when a bus drives by, I just know that it's gonna land on her makeup, and I'll go, "Oh, oh, that's terrible!" And I go to the bus driver, like, "Where you go?" Thanks, man. She's like, "Oh no, I'm drenched." My I knew your eyelids weren't really blue. Yeah, and then I have a, I have like a, <laughs> a camera. Okay, everything checks out. She has good skin. So seeing her in the morning, that's a, is anyone like, no, thanks. I don't want to see you first thing in the morning. You some psychopath. People like, some people, yeah, won't go for that. Yeah. Um, but that's also a red flag. Somebody's, I would be so, <clears throat> if a guy was like, want to get breakfast, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. Sick. And I feel like they don't get a lot of those offers. Like but, guys aren't doing that a ton. You know what else I would think? I would go, oh, he's probably sober. Whenever a guy asks like for a hike, a coffee date or mm. breakfast, I'm like, oh, they're probably sober. That's cool. I'm, I'm not like, that's not why I'm doing it, but. I don't drink a lot anyways. Yeah. So sometimes when a girl's like, oh, I don't drink. I'm like, oh, great. I'm just doing it because that's a thing to do. Yeah, yeah. But I think a lot of times people are nervous on the first date, number one in the light and number two sober. Mm. Like, so at night, dark, but I, drink. I, I love breakfast. I need a meal anyways. And it, if, if I hit it off with If a you girl, say that one more time. <laughs> what? I'm going to, I, I need, need a meal anyways. <laughs> don't show up with your morning breath not having eaten well, yet i'm gonna brush my and just teeth. be like I'm hi nice to meet you so i need a sausage i'm starving <laughs> like don't show up because you need breakfast like, anyway uh, what's your name again what, is, hey, what, is, what does she want uh yeah whatever, hey whatever i'm gonna be wants. an ihop anyway if you want to swing by like what i have a fax machine but if i'm you're... going to go to breakfast with someone i'm gonna eat a little bit before i'm not really? gonna i'm not gonna Why? show up hungry to a first date why not What's because it's like I want to be able to focus and I don't want to go into a low multitask. I don't want to be hangry when I'm meeting someone for the first time. But that's why you order food. I would have to have a little snack on the way. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't want you to meet me with low blood sugar. This is, ladies, if we're going on a breakfast date, I'm coming hungry. This is I'm not pre-gaming. <laughs> I'm not popping into kind bar. Like You're getting me if my hunger is. <laughs> Like it is so psychoed. Like and what time is breakfast? Like nine or no, like I'm a, a comic. So 10, 30 or 11. So you can't date anyone with a job? It's harder because my hours are so, <laughs> it's so hard. Especially because Someone's like, uh, I would have to leave work. You're like, cool. It's See you there. Because most people have real, like yeah. civilians, you know? So yes. I go, oh, I'm free Thursday. They go, when, when are you free? I'm like, 11. If a girl can go, have. In, I'll be <laughs> sleeping for two hours by the time you get done. Have there ever been, like when you look at, because I'm fascinated by the way that like men and women like talk about each other where I see gender, it's a very hot take. But like, I feel like guys will label women based on their hair color and girls will label men based on their jobs. 
Mm. They'll be like, are you still dating the architect? Are you still dating the comedian? Oh, whatever happened with that uh, podcast producer guy? Whereas guys would be like, what happened with the redhead? Or they go, you still dating Susie Big Tits? <laughs> just what, just, just, just what, what they're saved in the phone as? Yes. How funny would it be if you're like driving to a date with like, because you're dating multiple people, you know? And then a call comes up and it says Susie Big Tits in parentheses. And you go, oh, 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 that's, uh, that's my CPA. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I got, really got to start saving them on my phone as something else. Are you guys really saving things Susie that Big extreme? Tits? No, that's, that's. Like I have a lot. 80s comedy. I have like Mike Raya. I have a lot of Mike yeah, Raya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Billy Hinge. I have so many like Hannah Hinges. Hannah or... Hinge. <laughs> unhinged. Hannah was oh, unhinged. I wanted to do a joke where like women always, they have to change their last name so many times. Like first it goes from like Whitney Hinge <laughs> to then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Totally. So like that's the first one that, that gets lost. Right. Because they don't even get their last name until after the dating app gets mm -hmm. taken off. So it's like Susie Bumble. Uh-huh. Then it becomes Susie Johnson, her real name. And then it becomes Susie McGrath, like the guy's name. <laughs> yes. Uh. Or what if they kept the hyphen? Like <laughs> Susie Johnson McGrath Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wa I wanted I, wa I wanted to keep, you know, I wanted to keep all of them. Are you on Bumble? Barely. Yeah, I don't do well on there. I think Hinge is the best for me. And then Raya, that's not even that great, but... Probably Hinge and then Raya. Mm -hmm. Because Bumble, you can't message them first. You have to wait yes, for them to it's message. it's so funny. I think women bought into it early. Like, oh, this is empowering. We message the guy. Why? Yeah. And Why? Then they, then they realize it goes against their biology. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no totally. No woman wants to do that. God, I don't want to be like the alpha. I don't have to be proactive. Yes. So it, it's entire... What it was for I would just... In. The entire time if I was on Bumble, I would just DM guys and be like, how come you haven't DM'd me yet? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is like, They'd be like oh, we would, can't find would, a way I know I know I think that's almost it too just like well you find a way you find know, a way yeah, you see I would just I put like. my cell phone number in the profile or something <laughs> may the well, best man maniacal. win yeah like I just and you can't send dick pics or something on Bumble on Bumble huh. are all guys sending dick pics I don't under, I've never sent a dick pic in my smart. life smart I swear to God smart I don't understand what that's about, why you would, or I just don't have that in me to send uh -huh. a dick pic. Yeah. Um, yeah. You just send pictures of the microphone. <laughs> yeah, just other, things, <laughs> just other things shaped like dicks. <laughs> the reason I like dick pics is I like seeing someone's place. Oh, you try to look? I like seeing like someone's place. You go in hand. <laughs> always, and you're always. Oh, I'm island. always zooming in the, on the background. I can see what kind of loofah you're working with. I can see what kind of weird washcloths I'm up against. I can just see, I, I can am, see if you've got a Bath and Body Works shower gel so I know if you actually have a girlfriend or not. So your dick pics are for recon. Yeah, that's correct. And the I'm guy, always like, send me a dick pic from your bathroom and I'll know everything yeah, I need to know. And you go and use use the 0.5 setting on the <laughs> iPhone because you really want that wide angle to capture No the portrait. Entire... I can't have a fuzzy background. That's a good point. <laughs> Cinematic mode. Thanks so much. I imagine you like what you see in the background and you heart it and he's like, she loves my dick. <laughs> You're like, no, I love, I love the painting in the background. Well, because a lot of times guys have one dick pic that's their like go-to dick pic, mm. but then they've been using it so long and they don't realize like. And it looks like a, a young dick. You well, go, <laughs> <laughs> you go, your dick is aged. I know this is a dick pic from six years ago. <laughs> well, there's a couple ways to find out. Number one, it'll be like, you know, I'm like, is that a, is that a, a like a Bush Gore? <laughs> button in the background. It's like you a know? bumper sticker. <laughs> Perot. Yeah. Ross Perot. Totally. The Dan fuck? Quayle. <laughs> like, like there's something that dates it. You know what I mean? Mm. It'll just be like, is that a, you know, is that a Dishwalla CD in the background? <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever. Or um, if you save a dick pic and they've taken it earlier, it'll save in your phone the year it was oh. taken. So if you go to save a guy's dick pic and it doesn't go straight to the end of your photos, you know that they took it, it a long goes time to ago. 1999. Yeah, totally. You go, <laughs> it it's your first photo. Yeah. <laughs> it predates you getting this iPhone. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so that can really... That's, I didn't know that. When you save a photo, it just like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, mm. oh yeah. Oh, it saves when it was taken. Yeah, I would never say Which that. is very dicey. That's, I, don't have, I don't have that confidence to send a dick pic. Okay, a couple questions because uh, I still don't understand Please. how men work. Yeah, I'm like how I'm, I'm the ambassador of you all are men because you're not but dark I'm, I'm or weird. negative. I don't like. I have my you know. You things. have this Seinfeldian yeah. like curiosity that's not dark and negative. Yes, yes, yes. That's I'm what I love. I used to be an. Do engineer. you think I would ask any of these questions to Andrew Santino <laughs> or any other man? Quite frankly, dumb. 
I'm just trying to figure it out with you. I'm, I'm an totally. ally Totally. We're anthropologists yes. at this point. Yes, yes, yes. So, Fahim Anwar, mm-hmm. do you wash your jeans? Yes. But I've heard that uh, you're not supposed to do it a lot. And I know some people put, if it's raw denim, they put it in the freezer. Because Bobby's all about raw denim. He buys these, these raw denim jeans. I think he said raw dogging. Uh-huh. He's both. He, I, loves, both. he loves both. Raw dogging and raw jeans, raw denim. What is raw denim? Raw denim is really stiff and like, uh, you've never seen raw denim? I think it's a fake thing, whatever you're it's saying. It's a real thing. I don't, so there's no I way. I just have Levi's and those have been processed and they're kind of soft when you put them on. Raw processed, denim. Processed, have so? Uh, I don't know. There's Levi's has its thing. It doesn't feel like drywall when you put them on. But raw oh. denim is is stiff and it takes a while to break them in. And when you break them in, it has these kind of like fade lines. They're natural fade lines. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So it's sure. just the pricier denim. It's more fashionable. Bobby's all about fashion and all this stuff. There's this raw denim. Bobby? Co- Bobby, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll pay so much money for co- vintage concert tees. Yeah. For raw denim. There's- Bobby dresses like a gay vet. The thing is, you wouldn't know that he spends that much money on his clothes. Like he spends so much money to look like a rocker, <laughs> like a homeless rocker or something. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, it costs a lot though. He, it is like he does spend a lot of money in like cargo jackets with like holes. They come with holes. But people who know fashion are in the know. It's almost like a secret society. Mm-hmm. Like if you're wearing a certain type of shoe or jean, they're like, oh, I know. But, but I wouldn't know. I don't think that's cool though. It is if you're into fashion. I'll go to JC Penny and get my whole wardrobe. Like, you know, yeah, I'm, but I'm not that's cool. Like cool. That. But when not, someone not Hollywood cool, it's like, why would you want to be Hollywood cool? You want to be a pedophile? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What that's do you mean? Point. Hollywood cool? Is there such a thing? Maybe it's best not to be. If Hollywood anyone cool. in Hollywood thinks I'm cool, I, I want, want to be like Diddy with me. <laughs> 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 it's been my dream. To, no, dude, he made some good sweatsuits there for a minute. Oh, what, what was the brand of it? Sean John? Sean John. Yeah. Sean John. I mean, that's exactly it. People are surprised that a man trafficked humans or did sex trafficking. The guy's changed his name seven times. That's a good point. What, how, of course he was doing <laughs> some shady <laughs> This guy literally would come home one day and be like, okay, guys, uh, I know uh, I'm, I'm, I know I'm, 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 today I'm P. Diddy. Okay, no one met, if someone comes here looking for Sean Combs, he's yeah, not. Yeah. If any male comes for Sean Combs, <laughs> That's not me. But if a I'm male, like a man comes, he's, then that's for me. My way. That's that is for me. <laughs> but, but if a male man, <laughs> I'm saying man twice. Has then a parcel, bring him, not, yes, not yes, yes, for yes. me. And then three months later, he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm Puff Diddy, Daddy now. Puff Daddy. Sean Combs doesn't live here anymore. So the guy that comes with the baseball bat, we don't know that guy. Yeah. I, in my mind, I'm like, does, it, does anyone in Hollywood just like do the work? <laughs> just do the work anymore? Or do you have to like, <laughs> is, is that part of it? <laughs> Like, does anyone just act anymore or just make music? Or is there so many hours in the day they go, might as well hands, I guess. Here's what I don't understand. I, okay, let's not, okay, kids, that's whatever. Let's, we're already, house money already got it's, well, punished. Let's not oh, knock this. Oh, that's a good point. Let's, let's cut that out. Let's cut that out. Uh, uh, when, okay, so P. Diddy, do they, they think it's underage? I don't know. I, I, I know it's, I don't know the specifics of it. I haven't no. read the whole thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, know yeah. when there's a helicopter shot. With guys coming into your home <laughs> with flak jackets, it's probably not. It's probably not adult women. <laughs> There's, yeah, yeah. It's probably not a consensual night out at uh, Bossa Nova. <laughs> yeah, when, <laughs> when giant dudes that look like The Rock are running around like out with your laptop yeah. and that old Mac computer from 20 if, years ago, if it's someone's not on my good. front lawn <laughs> and doing this to other guys. Can't be good. It can't be good. No, 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 no. person is done. If, <laughs> if they go. Oh, shalom, everyone. Whitney Cummings here. You know what it's time for? It's time to eat stress-free this spring with Factors Delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, or Vegan and Veggie. Also discover more than 60 add-ons every week, like breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day long. Why would I need that? Oh, right, because I have a toddler that won't stop yelling and crying and puking and occasionally peeing in my mouth. That's a thing no one tells you about. So I 
basically two minutes is about the amount of time I have to jam food down my gullet. Factor meals, you have saved me. So what are you guys waiting for? Get started today. Fuel up on your springtime goals. Get chef prepared meals on the table in two minutes. Two minutes. (sighs) I mean, you can have a meal in the amount of time that I conceived my child. Their ready-to-eat meals are awesome. So if you're looking for gourmet meals, try ones that feature premium ingredients, filet mignon, shrimp, truffle butter. I'm obsessed with the broccolini and asparagus. No fuss, no mess, okay? Also, we're celebrating Earth Day over here at Factor Meals all month long. So look out for the Earth Month Eats badge on the menu for our lowest carbon footprint meals and reverse all that bad karma you accumulated in college. Head to factormeals.com slash Whitney5050, Whitney5050, and use code Whitney50 to get 50% off. That's a wild amount off. 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code Whitney50 at factormeals.com slash Whitney50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. It is incredible that I have pulled off this literacy thing because reading is hard sometimes. Hey guys, what is liquid death? If you don't know what it is by now, I don't know how to break this to you, but you're a dork, dude. (laughs) Like at this point, if you guys are not drinking liquid death, you're a nerd, a uh, geek, a uh, dork, I already said, dork, loser, geek, um, piss ant, um, brace face. Like it's just... You're just not cool. I don't like there's no other way to explain it. Like I'm just telling you like all the cool kids are doing. This is the one thing all the cool kids are doing that doesn't put you in jail or make you die of an overdose. It looks like a beer or like some crazy energy drink, but I promise it is not. Liquid Death is actually a healthy beverage brand. It makes mountain spring water low sugar sodas, and low sugar iced teas. I have the Armless Palmer every morning instead of coffee now. And look at me. I'm a manic spaz. I have more energy than any normal human being after having a newborn four months ago. Okay. I'm like, I remember the first time I saw liquid death, I thought it was someone drinking a beer and I was like, that's weird. You're driving and pregnant, but looks like a beer looks like some cool beverage. Um, but cause it's like a tall boy, but now they have smaller ones too, but it is the coolest. Uh, this is the severed lime. There's a new one. That's a cherry one. Hold on over here. I have them everywhere. This one is the Bury It Alive. They're also just hilarious. But here's the real question. Why would a healthy beverage ever be called liquid death? That's a real humdinger, isn't it? It's because they're bringing death to single-use plastic water bottles with their infinitely recyclable cans. Liquid Death also donates a portion of profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. So they're also heroes like me. Aluminum is infinitely recyclable. Plastic is not. If plastic pollution isn't curbed, plastic will outweigh fish in the ocean by 2050. That is bone chilling, okay? I love Liquid Death. It's all I drink. You guys know this about me. I just, here's the thing. I love Liquid Death because on some level, I truly deeply hate water. And for whatever reason, Liquid Death, the cans feel cool. The water just tastes better to me. Like other water just tastes like spit. I don't know why, but I like the flavored ones too because it like tricks me into hydrating myself. Um, And I really love the carbonated one. And also just like looks cool. It's not like embarrassing. You're not like carrying around this plastic water bottle. It's like making all this noise and just like bumming everybody out. The low sugar iced tea, they are lightly sweetened with agave. Unlike other sugar bomb nightmares on the market, it's giving everybody diabetes. Okay, so it's a healthy alternative to soda, alcohol, whatever you drink. You can get a free shipping of Liquid Death Mountain Spring Water flavored sparkling iced tea eight packs with Amazon Prime or grab a can or a case at your local 7-Eleven, Target, Walmart, Whole Foods, on Instacart. It's up to you. Or just go to liquiddeath.com slash Whitney to check out all their healthy, infinitely recyclable beverages and find your closest retailer, liquiddeath.com slash Whitney, liquiddeath.com slash Whitney. I love you. I mean it. Listen to this. Listen to this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, wait, hold on. I'm trying to be like cool and do this. That was good. You know, but I think a lot of that is probably a like addiction to taboo. 
Don't you think? What, those parties or? Just like, I don't, I think that once you've slept with a lot of people, maybe you're just into like what's off limits or taboo where I've never, I don't know. I've never maybe been like that. you think you're above the law. Maybe like it's that some... Epstein thing where it's a honeypot where I, I heard he had cameras. I don't know the whole thing. Allegedly, there's like cameras. So there's people doing stuff and that's kind of, um, they have that on people. So then you can get away with it longer. That's how Epstein was operating. Okay. There's cameras in his house. So there's okay. like politicians and hey, high level okay, people. Well, well, I'm not doing not that. everyone not, that has cameras in their house is a pedophile. Is okay, no, 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 let's no. just. Yeah, you just have it in one room. You don't, you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> you just like fire up footage of me in the bathroom. Yeah, like the if toilet. I could remember my ring camera password, we would be in business. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's how they get away with it for so long. Oh, it so it's just... about blackmailing other people. Yeah, because they have footage of these people doing, you know, illegal stuff. <sighs> for then what? I don't get the racket. So they can keep getting away with their thing. Maybe, oh, it's may so. Yeah, maybe they're part of uh, an asset for. Are 21 year old models so unattractive? I mean, you could have a different 21 year old model every night, consensually, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Is it like a Dungeons and Dragons? It's like there's got to be some other thing going on that I can't understand. Like, oh, it's so close to the line. What if you go over the line? It's like that. I, like sometimes when I go to Whole Foods, I'll see the like raw bar and I'll be like, should I just like my whole day? What do you mean? You know when it's like the raw poke bar at like mm. a, at a grocery store and it's like been out? <laughs> <laughs> so what you will contemplate just destroying your stomach with a poke bar? Well, because I'm like, this could go. There's no way this is going to go well. Oh, right. But like, let's see if I can beat the odds. Have you done it? Not yet. Mm. I, that's funny. That's a food. <laughs> that's a food version of when you're on a high bridge or something and just you're like, what if I jump? And you never would. Yeah. But you're like, you're oh, like, what would that be like? Uh huh. And that's you with poke at uh -huh. Whole Foods. I'm just like, yo, what if I like? I'd have that? to cancel everything. But there'd be something kind of great to be like, sorry guys, I'm food poisoning. Like I kind of want it. That would be like a weird MTV True Life. I'm addicted to food poisoning. Because, <laughs> because think about it. If you're someone that likes gay sex, wouldn't you want to get arrested to go to jail? Wait, what do you mean? I don't get it. Because so if, if P Diddy goes to jail, he will get in the ass mm. every day. <laughs> You're saying that's what he wants. All day. Uh, it's like when you uh, if get you're... caught with cigarettes and your dad makes you smoke the entire carton. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So if you, get... you love it, you're just like. <laughs> <sighs> if Thanks, you dad. get caught in gay sex, the punishment should not be prison. That's a reward. Then what should it be? Oof. Podcasting. He has to have a podcast. Yeah, like what would... What should like if well, do you have the video that I sent you of him yep. touching Justin Bieber? Oh, to see if he had a wire, dude. Or, it's how old is this video? I don't know. Is that what he's it's actually such doing? A weird way to introduce someone, or like, yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, but also, we are mic'd a lot sure, in yeah. our business, you know what I mean? But I'm, yeah, before you mean when I you see half job? of my friends, someone puts a microphone on me. That's a good point. <laughs> I always have thought about that, like. Like Theo with podcasting and stuff, just people who are so big, or, uh -huh. or even Tim. Just get get a microphone installed in your sternum so you don't. Anytime you talk, it's wasted. Like that could be monetized. Well, that's what's so wild about like anytime. Yeah, I see any of my friends and they're like, "Hey, so traffic was crazy." I'm like, "Save it. We gotta roll on it. This is gold." Yeah, like your whole life is monetized. Yeah, just any word that comes out of your mouth, like <laughs> clip it. It's a it's a Truman Show at yeah. this point. We're truly living in the Truman Show. Where is this? Is this in at the Grove? No one has ever said what's up to me like this. Yo, he's like this. He's like, <laughs> Yo, man, yeah, man. Good. I love your new album and everything. Like, dude, like, what you're doing, the R&B game, is just, I love, I love being a knuckle pet. Yeah, yeah. Like, you bend over and, like, spread your cheeks. Uh, yeah. He's doing a it's a, t on. it's a tick check. I mean, look, this would be, is this going to be, like, Black Epstein? <laughs> I may be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what unfolds from the whole thing. And he has two, can you check this, Pat? He has two ex-wives that died. Oh, Look yeah, up. Yeah, 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 I'm on the, see, here's the thing. People say, follow the money. Follow the ex-wives. So mm. Trump has, his ex-wife fell down a flight of stairs like a year and a half ago, like no one cares. Oh, really? No one cares. Oh. No one cares. Isn't that interesting? Stairs are tricky, Whitney. You know what? If I made it down <laughs> my flight of stairs through the whole pandemic and survived smoking weed every day, Okay. She can handle it then. I think that anyone can make it down a flight mm. of stairs. Isn't yeah. it funny? You just hear someone falls downstairs and then enough people are like, 
Yeah, yeah, you would yeah, die. You would die. I guess happens. so. <laughs> stairs are tough. And because it really is like Ivanka Trump falling down a flight of stairs. Like we just decided based on how crazy she looks like. Yeah, I can see that. That should be a good deciding factor, like a fun game. Like you put up someone's picture and they go, would they die falling down stairs <laughs> yes. or would they not? That's what I'm saying. Because like if it was like Hillary Clinton or something fell down a flight of stairs, we'd be like, nah, she wears flats. Mm, I don't, that's, that's some, some fishy happened. Yeah. M Michelle Wolf fell down a flight of stairs. She wears sneakers. Some right. fishy happened. But if you're like, if it's like Jennifer Coolidge fell down a flight of stairs, you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised she doesn't <laughs> fall all the time on horizontal <laughs> ground. You're going to throw stairs into the mix? She's like, you know, swishing around. Like we decide how crazy someone is based on if we believe there was foul play involved in them dying, That's falling down the great stairs. That's a litmus test. <laughs> would, you would you die falling downstairs yeah. on your own or was, is there foul play? Yeah, it's like a, and it's also funny that the assassin, let's say she was killed, picked something that was like, yeah, they'll believe that. Oh, for sure. You know, like the, the meeting yeah, yeah, where yeah, the yeah. assassin and the person that hired the assassin are like, okay, we got to figure out a way to kill this person. Um, Drowning? Oh, no, 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 no. no, she, no, no people no. wouldn't buy that she was out swimming because of her hair, you know, like... Figure out the PR story Yeah, first. maybe, like, should she hang herself? No, she would never be able to, you know, she would fall off the stair before she'd be able to... She's not coordinated enough. Okay, Sean Diddy Combs' ex, Kim Porter, died of labor pneumonia. Lobar, uh, can you... Uh, okay, died of labor... Lobar pneumonia? Uh, they just made up a new thing, mm -hmm. just so he wouldn't ask more questions. Yeah. Uh, certified as natural. The manner of death has been certified as natural. Do you put that in a, is that assumed, again, is that assumed? Yeah. <laughs> Authorities said to stop asking questions, and it was totally normal. Here's what I'll say. <laughs> yeah. and the, the coroner said, nothing to see here. Nothing to see then here. I quote. Bye, guys. <laughs> I said, bye. I need to go bye. cash this check that he just wrote me. I have to work. <laughs> you know how I know Diddy was a gay pedophile? Because he was married to a woman who was 49. <laughs> and I, I can't articulate why, but you know it's true. A straight man would not, that has that much money, mm. would not date a 49-year-old woman if he could have everyone. That's pretty, that's a funny concept. So Just here's, to have like a pedophile beard. Like this not, is even, what, not even a... This is what I'm saying. Like, I knew something was up with Jeffrey Epstein when his girlfriend slash wife looked like Janet from Three's Company. Mm. Like, why would he, she's got to be procuring the steady stream of the kind of women that these rich billionaires do get. There's nothing fishier than a straight rich man who is in love with a woman his age. It doesn't you, add you, up. You sniff that out? It doesn't add up, dude. When Diddy was with Kim Porter, who was his age, I was like, he must be a pedophile. Why else? Something's up. Why yeah, why isn't this? he dating like a 25-year-old model? Mm -hmm. And why do I wink every time I have a weird theory these days? I don't know what this is. Because you're getting too close. I, I'm <laughs> you're getting too close. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, why? You know, it just doesn't add up. I buy that no okay. straight man would ever love a woman that much. There's something up. Something's fishy. And we're finding out. Yeah. And then she dies of pneumonia at 49. That's pretty young. I don't know. What'd she see? Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Did he? Like, is that someone that's really surprising? I guess it's been hiding in plain sight because you see all these clips coming out now and you go, oh, like Mace making a comment, some of these other rappers. So like everyone has kind of known that he's gay or bi or something for the longest time. But back then, if a comment was made, it was made on TV once. And if you missed that's it, you point. missed it. Yeah. Like there's all these now on TikTok, like these, these resurfaced um, interviews with Prince where he's talking about like crazy stuff. And you're like, how do we miss this? Because it aired once and never aired again. That's a good point. You yeah, know? Yeah. So Mace like said it, but if you missed it, you missed it. You know, it's weird too. Just everything is memeified as well. You'll be watching a baseball game and it cuts to a crowd, like a person in the crowd and it gets clipped up. And that's just part of the zeitgeist now for years. And it'll be sent to people like, hey, we're having a party tonight. And you just send a picture of this person at a baseball game. There's this next phase of media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, Whereas prior to that, it wasn't really logged. It was on TV and we forgot it, like you said. Huh. Yeah, I guess I just feel like, uh, I don't know. Diddy is a tricky one. I mean, was it really the Cat Williams thing that started this? Do you think there's a coincidence? Or do you think this would have happened like anyway? It's a moment. He just put kind it in the universe of. and everyone's like, wait, wait, you what? Think? What's up with Diddy? I mean, it would be too coincidental. Hmm. The timing is interesting. I mean, it was like a month later. International sex trafficking. 
Why is it international? Because the age of consent is different in other places. Maybe they're from other places. Yeah, they're from other places, I suppose. Huh. International. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to ask you another question. Please, please. Um, Hit me. When you get out of the shower. Yeah. I showered today. Do you put on lotion? Oh, that's a good one. I'll do face lotion. Really? I, yeah. And that's kind of newer. Uh -huh. so I'm like, I should probably put face lotion on. Uh-huh. But uh, body, I don't really. Nothing. I don't slather it up. Cologne? No. I don't really like cologne. Really? Yeah. I just, I just, I feel like I have enough of a fragrance with the face lotion, the shampoo, the conditioner. Okay. I don't want to put a thing on and I don't have a signature scent. You don't have to put it here. How do you do it? Either. You can put it, you can just spray it and walk through it. I'm not a <laughs> <laughs> Just like, that just seems like the most Liberace thing. Like everything's so masculine, getting ready, you know, like. <clears throat> Wait, that's such a funny idea. Like, hold on, because that's how everyone says that men should put on cologne. They should spray it and walk through it. But it didn't occur to me how gay like weird that is the only way it'd be gay is if i'm ready to go out you know by the, the mirror by the door and i don't <laughs> well, like and then I have my satchel that's now <laughs> in style no but if a guy is gonna spray cologne and walk through it he has to be like God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the only masculine way to apply cologne as a guy <laughs> to like headbutt it. <laughs> yeah, or you do the haka. Haka, haka, haka. Something super masculine as you go through a French fragrance. I'm dying. Okay, we're going to do an IG live. Do you mind doing an IG live and people will ask us questions? Sure, it's sure. actually really fun. Um, Can I ask you, are there any jokes that you were going to do in this special that you cut out? Yeah. What? Uh, there's a couple of them. There might be like seven, seven minutes. And why? Just, Did you just... Flow wise and then... uh. And then some of them, it didn't, it didn't get what I wanted it to get. I'm mm. like, this is a better joke. Mm. I'll save this for the next special. Yeah. You know, and I didn't want to cheat it too yeah. much. So I'm like, that's okay. And I just liked stylistically the flow of taking some of them out. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just doing it longer. Cause when you're a younger comic, you're like, yeah, just put all the jokes in. And you yeah. don't realize that you're kind of, you're like a DJ. Yeah. You're making a playlist and you're totally. kind of taking people through. It's not just about the jokes. It's like how they intertwine together and tell a story or I don't know. I just wanted it to feel a certain way. And mm. those jokes, even though they're great yeah. in a 15 minute set, I'm like, ah, they don't really make sense in the full what I've made. Right. So I'm like, ah, let me just lose it. You gain more by losing it. Are you um, touring this year? Yeah, I think maybe in the fall. So me I'm just too. kind of in town writing new stuff. And I love this part of stand up where you get to start over. I hate it. Why? Hate it. It's just like, I don't, it, between specials, I always just feel like I look back and I'm like, how have I ever done this? Like, mm -hmm. I don't like it. Ter the idea of doing stand up like terrifies you've me. done it so many years and you've done this process so many times. Like, don't you trust yourself in the process at this point <sighs> to not feel that way? Well, it's tricky because I really feel like I try to. And maybe I have to stop being so like personal with what I do. But I feel like I, I heard the advice in the beginning for no one to steal your jokes. Always just make things as personal as possible, mm -hmm. you know? So I was always did that. And now I'm kind of like, you know, if I'm, I don't ever want to do a bad impression of myself of like who I was before. And I'm like, well, the idea is that I'm like growing as a person ideally, but now I'm like, I don't know who I am and like what's funny about me or something, you know? Yeah. And like, know. it takes a second for me to like in between like update my software, but I just started having like little breakthroughs. Yeah. Like I, I need like a theme before I start writing jokes, like of the next hour. And then I finally just stumbled on it. I think it's also what's going, what's happening in your life and what are you thinking about at this current moment? Because yeah. as much as I love this special and the one prior, it is a time capsule of like where my mind was at, where my life was at. And I'm excited to do a special or work on stuff that's what I'm thinking about right now, you know? Yeah. So it's just a snapshot of you in right. that period of your life. Right. Oh, gosh, we're live. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Yeah, I just want to get everything right. Uh -huh. and Sorry. That's uh, an impossible task. Uh, Fahim just started pouring his heart out. I was like, never mind. Yeah, we're we live. <laughs> Let's get attention from strangers. I was about to have an emotional break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're anyway, live. We're live so on please Instagram. tell me about your emotional hangups. Anyway, hey guys, yeah. here we are, IG Live. Well, I was just talking to so Fahim Anwar. His new special is out now. It's called House Money. He's the fun. You know, he's my favorite comedian. I say it oh, all you. the time. And the people that hate comedy the most love you. That's pretty funny. <laughs> like that's a nice tagline. People who hate comedy. You guys, love Neil Fahim. Brennan thinks he's funny. Need I say more? <laughs> That's so funny you say that. I take the most pride in 
that like because Neil is very picky and discerning. Like guys like Neil and and uh, like Mark Maron. Yes. They're oh. they're kind of curmudgeony. Yes. And the fact that they like me. Yeah. Those miles. Um, I don't know what it feels like, but it seems amazing. <laughs> Like, I would do anything to feel that. I would rather but, but have... that's all I have, Whitney. You're in a palatial mansion. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a townhouse in Tarzana. I only have one pasta sauce. I, I would have... rather live in the Jewish tunnels of New York and have Mark Maron think I'm funny than play Madison Square Garden. Uh, uh, you heard me say it. Favorite know. pasta sauce. I like a vodka pasta sauce. I'm classic, just marinara, right? Then why are you in the, why are you? But I gotta, when I cook it for myself, I need to buy it. I need uh -huh. to buy a jar of it. There's that that restaurant called Carbon. Mm. Have you ever heard of it? It's like a place in New York and they started doing pasta sauce. I learned about it from uh, Dumois, that like gossip oh, website. Okay. Their pasta sauce is unbelievable. Why is your hairline so perfect? Oh, I don't know. That's my parents or my great grandfather. Is that where it comes down from? I don't know. It is pretty should, unbelievable. Should I shave? Um, is that a man's biggest fear? Is their hairline yes. receding? Oh my God, yes. Isn't that unfair? Like, what is the equivalent for women? Small boobs or a big pussy? <laughs> you, do you girls talk about big pussies a lot? Like, is it huge? Like, there's if my, Look, pus my do I pussy's have a receding. Pussy? <laughs> like that. Well, it's a light bulb pussy. Really? Mm -hmm. that's, a pussy that's, that's no like, bueno? it's got like a tight opening and then it like gets bigger at the top. Mm. <laughs> Is there a delay? You guys, we are trying. <laughs> Whitney got that Obama Wi-Fi. Okay, that's really funny. Uh, someone wants to know your birthday. Mine? Mm -hmm. March 21st. What does that mean? Oh, did that just happen? Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank that's you. why you're, we Thank got you. you. I got no. you these no, Girl oh Scout cookies. Whitney, the whole time. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I love samosas. So <laughs> what does that mean <sighs> of your astrological sign? I don't, I, I don't dive too deep into that stuff, but when a girl knows that, I'm, I'm interested. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, tell me all about it. It's like, it's like crypto for women. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's our, you know. That's a way to get a guy to have like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I thought it was foolish, but like, I get it. <laughs> Crypto's legit. Totally. So astrology's like that too? I do can think- Can I get it on Robin Hood? Can, <laughs> I get, can I get Pisces on Robin Hood? <laughs> There's something to be said for astrology. I don't think it's like the stars and when you were born. I think it's- the proxy open more Fahim has opened I more cans. A lot of beverages. <laughs> you can't dangle these carbonated <laughs> beverages in front of me and expect me not to crush this them. This is his third berry beverage yeah. of the day. No, I think that the proximity of your birthday to other holidays forms your personality. So my birthday, September 4th, it was always the first day of school. As a result, I'm like a workaholic, obsessive, like studious person. Mm. You know, like I think that your proximity of your birthday to other holidays, like March 25th, was that ever? It's like equinoxy, right? Were you in That's... school or was it, it might've been no, on, what's school. it called? Uh, spring break. Maybe. Was your birthday ever on spring break? I don't think so. If you don't agree with me in front of my yes. fans, I swear <laughs> yes, to God, was. Jesus Christ. It was in the heart of spring break. Would Whitney ever hook up with Fahim or a Middle Eastern dude? Whoa. It would be, I mean, if I like tried to hook up with you or flirt with you, like what would you do? I'm pretty dense. So <laughs> no, I swear to God. Like, like you wouldn't notice? Yeah. That's really funny. Me too. Because my parents, you know, from Afghanistan and then a little bit of a religious upbringing, like kind of Muslim. And then um, my brother didn't really have girlfriends and I went to engineering school. Uh -huh. So there's this whole frequency that I'm just not privy to. Some guys, I'll have friends and stuff like, yeah, I hooked up with this girl. I don't know. We just made eyes at Trader Joe's and we <laughs> dumpster. That like, what is this? like that? I can't fathom that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like off of a look or like I got this vibe. I'm just <laughs> I'm just like this. I walk through life like this. There have been so many times where I find out a girl likes me so late in the game. Uh huh. Like I missed all the cues. Right, right. Because I just think, oh, they're being nice. Or, uh. I think that's probably a more fun way to go through life because I do feel like there are guys that move through the world that are just like, what a are we are, are we not it must be exhausting to just every girl you encounter is like will they won't they yeah yeah it's a lot yeah just. i here's the only thing is like i think of you as like the maybe like one of the more like in terms of comedians like of like someone that you could i would like i would set you up with one of my really good friends mm, i have access you there's a like level above raya whitney friend. there's like <laughs> There's like there's two hinge, of you. There's him. There's like two there's of you. Raya, and then there's Whitney Friend. <laughs> and, it's very exclusive. And you know that you can't just have abs. When someone tries to set someone up and they're already, it just means they like the person. Wait, wait. wait do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Like if you're with somebody 
uh, if you're dating a girl and let me try, and you try to set one of your guy friends up with me, it means you have a little like you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Let me what? say it a different yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, if I'm dating someone, yeah, and then I try to set you up a lot, it means I kind of have a crush on mm. you. Yeah, it's a way to kind of yes. touch that world. But and you're I being get to, helpful, but then you're around the. person I get to a live lot. vicariously. Like if I wasn't with the person I was with, I would mm. probably make a play for this. No, person. no, I'm just helping him. Yeah, no, no. I'm like just I just helping. want him to. Yeah, I just want to make sure he's with the craziest girl possible, so that when they break up, <laughs> he falls in love with He'll me. Yeah, totally. And so I feel like. I though do you have this with female comics? There's something with male comics is they're always platonic to me. It must be some kind of Darwinian survival mechanism. I have a rule. I don't date comics. Hmm. I've always had that. Like no matter how hot or attracted I am to certain. He's letting like, me down easy, folks. <laughs> wow. No, you know, some people. I'll have quit. This, I'll no, quit. No, no, I'll no, quit. No, no, I'll no, retire. No. I'll people, retire right now. Some people have this rule. They go like, I don't date comics. But what they really mean to say is, I don't date comics uh, less successful than me. <laughs> If it was a huge comic, they go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They would just throw away their rule. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm, I'm actually a, like a hard line on the don't date in comics thing. Do you ever come close? One time, two uh, time. No, no, no. But but they started comedy after, which I don't love. Oh no. Then I feel used. They were like, like they, they were, were like, you make it look so easy. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like if you can do it. Right. I just felt like I was uh like they were just doing reconnaissance. Yeah. And then that doesn't feel great. Yeah. Um, I have a thought when it comes to being set up because sometimes people are like, oh, I want to set you up with whoever. If you are I'm trying to think how to frame this, like if you are the uglier of the two, that friend likes you more. You know what I mean? Sort of. Because they're doing you a solid. Ah. So if a girl's like, I want to set you up with my friend and she's like a Victoria's Secret model, uh -huh. they're doing, that friend loves me more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, not everyone is shallow. As... A lot of people are shallow. Yeah, but there's a certain point where you start going like, that's not working so great for me. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like it was fun. Do you think you're shallow? Do you think there's a point in your life where like something's got to give? For sure. Uh-huh. But I mean, you want you want to have it all. Yeah. Yeah. How's that going? We lost him. We lost him. <laughs> Too real. <laughs> Too real, guys. Yes, I'm coming to Salt Lake City. Um, thank you. <laughs> I'm yes. On it. If Here there was a comedy cult, will you join? There is one. Uh, it's called Scientology. Couple more questions. Any more? I know. I love Fahim. I love Fahim. I'm glad you yes. do. Tommy Boy, hands down. I know his new special is out right now on YouTube. YouTube. What's Fahim's favorite part about going to the store? That's Adam Ray's question yeah. again. Adam is Adam just could just ask me these questions in the hallway because like we go on. I bring him up at the store all the time. He brings me up. It's so funny. He has all these deep questions. Like, go, man, we see each other all the time. You could have just told me before we go. Up. Dude, you could just like text me. Yeah, text me. This is the we only way. Yesterday. This is the I only way God. that men can socially acceptably hang out is via an IG live on my podcast. Like Adam just calls. Call so Fahim funny. and talk to him. Like, guys can only have heart-to-hearts if we're in the peripheral vision. <laughs> we can't make direct eye contact and get deep. It's got to be, like, fishing and then do something I am else. fascinated how guys, like, can't really make friends. Like, you guys have to be doing something. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, gotten yeah, to the yeah. point where it's like, let's have a cigar together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just, like, what? That's so funny. I've done that. <laughs> Just the fact that you... You guys need like a prop, it. like you need something to like be a central focal point. Because it's not about the thing. You can't just be is. like, want to get dinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be like, let's do a hobby. Uh huh. Then you do five minutes of just, <laughs> and then go. <laughs> yeah, do you want to cut so it? I'll I, cut it. You want see, me to I'll cut think it? About my dad. Yeah, and <laughs> there always has to be like a sharp object <laughs> involved. Yeah, like, cut it. There is like, cook. Yeah, come, let's grill. Again, it's the spraying the perfume. <laughs> That's so we funny to me. masculine deniability, you know? Uh, I love that Adam oh, is watching. Did, what? What was the Adam question? It was, uh... What's wait, your favorite part about going to the store? Oh. Uh, Adam, I love you, but let's answer. Did everyone in Hollywood know about Diddy? I don't... I had never heard anything, but Have again... Have you noticed this happen? Um, as it's come out, people you know will be like, oh, I've heard rumors. I've heard some rumors about... I've heard that. Really? Yeah. So some people have, it's been there, but they don't just offer it up. But now that this is broken, some multiple people have been like, I knew oh, something I, I, was I, up I, I, when I, I saw that he was dating an age appropriate woman. Mm. But I've just heard some people say, oh, I've heard gay rumors like in the past. 
Uh, but I feel like everyone calls everyone gay. I know. You know what I mean? It's That's sort of like Tom Cruise is it. gay. This person's I gay. It's so big that people think I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get gay big. <laughs> I want to get gay rumor famous. I want to get gay big. Yeah, I feel like, so to me, like that just feels like something that I hear about everybody, you know? That's a good point. So I had never heard that before. I don't like, I just, th okay, this is like good news, bad news. Like Diddy was kind of irrelevant mm. for the past couple of years. You think this is a PR move on I his know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, people aren't talking about Diddy that much anymore. <sighs> what if I put a sex trafficking I, thing out there? I'm just saying when people are like, oh, like how have you not heard about this? Or like, wasn't it talked about? Like no one's, you know how many things I'd have to run out of to talk about to get to Diddy gossip? Right. Like, no one's just like, you hear about Diddy? I'd be like, what? You know what's annoying, you too? Know, you know who, sorry, real quick. Yeah. You know who knew? Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams, this is what I miss about Wendy Williams' show, is that she would talk about things that no one cared about. For, she would just be like, so, like, you know, like, T-Pain. Like, I'm like, what? okay, J-Lo just got divorced. Like, anything topical she would stay away from. Yeah. But she would be like, he's sweat. You know what I just heard? And be like, it's 2000. <laughs> 22. <laughs> Just a little late on her hot Yeah, dogs. totally. But she st if there was like a gay rumor about someone that wasn't relevant anymore. That's breaking to news pretty much. Totally. Do, 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 do. Just totally. Do the Keith Sweat. Totally. And like, I do think though, there's something shady about someone as talented as Diddy not having put music out for so long because it probably would have drawn attention or something. No? Mm. Like yeah. R. Kelly hadn't put a lot of hits out. Oh, he hadn't. Mm -mm. Yeah. Because that would like put him in the in like, the limelight, too yeah, much. or something. I don't. Maybe there's some logic to that. What's annoying is when uh, you know stuff like this happens, and then some people in the Midwest or whatever just think that we all, anyone in Hollywood in any capacity, knew. Yeah, like we walked by this sex trafficking cage. Wait, like, which we, one is this? No, just any time oh, yeah. something breaks, they go. I know. Everyone in Hollywood, Whitney knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fahim knew. Yeah, 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 Diddy's yeah. Knew. I'm like, I don't know, Diddy. They CC me on the emails. Right. It is, it is. You go, I went to my spam folder. But I did. Here's what I'll say. Harvey Weinstein, it was a going, like, thing. People knew about that. But, again, this is how, like, these people get away with this Because everybody talked about Harvey like that to the point where I went, oh, well, it must not be true. Because then he would never get away with it. Mm, like because the, everybody knows. Like, this is crazy. This must just be, like, a weird rumor. But, like, it's like the concept of the big lie. If I lie about something so big to you that you believe it just because I would never get away with that lie. Like it's so, so outlandish. It, totally. So that was the thing with Harvey Weinstein. But also the other thing with Harvey Weinstein is like 20 years ago or whatever, when you first go to LA and you hear like a Harvey Weinstein casting couch, I'm like, what? I, I'm I'm recurring on VH1 best week ever. <laughs> like, what am I going to go knock yeah, on his yeah. door and do a citizen's arrest? You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just doing spots at the comedy store. Like, I don't know Diddy. And you hear about it at a time where you're like, well, I would sleep with him if I got to get an Oscar. That doesn't seem like a bad trade. <laughs> what about a, a Teen Choice Award? Would you, <laughs> what, what, just to get slimed? Do you feel like I should have asked for more? That'd be funny. I get slimed and I had to do all this terrible <laughs> The like, Teen Choice Awards, so stupid. I enjoy hearing you talk about yourself. Really? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the podcast for you. <laughs> um, oh, do archery with your son, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, you know what? Looking, here's the problem is when you go into YouTube wormhole, it becomes like your algorithm and then I'm only mm. fed like horrifying stuff then, about pedophiles. And someone comes over and they think this is what you're all about. When Look, your YouTube comes up. This is the question here. Can we separate the art and the artist? Because Mo Money, Mo Problems is a jam. That's true. Do I have to part ways with, with Diddy songs? Yeah, that's a good question, huh? Brutal. That's how you find out how talented you are. Like, if you can be scrubbed. <laughs> yeah, totally. Then... Yeah, it's like R. Kelly. It's like, it's people won't get, Michael Jackson, they won't give it up. Yeah, but R. Kelly, I think they'll still kind of cherry pick. They'll take some out. But Michael Jackson, he's embedded. That into... you can't. Yeah, he's too intertwined with Americana. Okay, are you okay over there? Uh, yeah, fact, another thing, Whitney. Um, <laughs> so my process, um, I start with an idea and then I flesh it out. Okay, Fahim Anwar, you guys know he is my favorite, favorite comedian to watch. He just frankly is. I got to so say sweet. it. I'm going to say it. Me. I know. It's not sweet. Thanks. Just true. Fahim Anwar, house money now. And as you guys know, I'm obsessed with hat trick. I reference it a lot. Really? Yeah, I reference it a lot. Dancing guy. It's just dancing so funny. Guy. Dancing guy. Hit her with dancing guy. Dancing, what the fuck? Um, Fahim Anwar, you guys. Oh, also, um, you're like pretty big, like on TikTok. Like, 
Engaging? Are you like engage a lot on there? I don't know. I just make stand-up clips and then I blast them off into every social media thing. Yeah. And then hopefully one of, it takes off on one of you them. You never know what's going to take yeah. off. I remember during the pandemic, you did that audition for The Invisible Man oh, that was yeah. so funny. Like you just do a lot of like original content that's like, you know. Just trying. Just, yeah. Play the shows game. off your... Okay. I love you guys. Thank you for um, doing the damn thing. Thanks for having me. Thanks for all of these nacho questions. <laughs> yeah. I think I won that round. Send what is it, the meaning it. of life? We're going to end on that. There's no meaning. Life's meaningless. Godspeed, guys. Love you. I love you all. Um, did it stop? Did it stop? Oh, hold on. There's someone... Okay, there's More. this... Hold on. No, no, no. We're done. Love you. Don't ride elephants. Fahim Anwar. Do that one more time. I have the volume down. Good for you. Don't ride elephants. Uh, sorry, all lowercase. Don't ride elephants. How dare you? <laughs>